In this tutorial, we'll go through the process of creating animations. This will add movement to the parts that need to explain modularity or for users to interact with. When it comes to animation, effective project organization is crucial and employing groups is highly recommended. This will greatly improve the animation process. Remember to also organize your branding elements within these groups as well. To begin, switch to the animate mode located in the top bar menu. Here, you'll find a timeline. The playhead represents your current position on the timeline, while the purple line signifies the duration of the animation. When you make adjustments to an object's position, rotation, or scale, it will automatically generate a keyframe. You can initiate playback by clicking the play icon or by using the spacebar. There are three playback options available. Single will play the animation just once, Repeat will loop it, and Ping Pong will play the animation in reverse when it reaches the end. Deleting keyframes is as simple as selecting them and pressing the delete key. Now let's rename this animation as Switch On. Move the playhead to your desired position and exit the camera view for free navigation. Go to the bottom of the device and select the button. Sometimes it's easier to reposition an object when the gizmo orientation is set to local. Keyframes on the timeline can be rearranged by simply dragging them. Set the playback type to single. The button is now animated, but we also want to animate the entire object. Select the group containing the entire model and apply a slight rotation. This action will automatically generate new keyframes for the entire group on the timeline. Copy the initial keyframe and paste it at the end of the animation, ensuring that the device returns to its original state. Fine-tune the animation by adjusting the length and the positions of the keyframes. Next, let's create the switch off animation. The easiest way to do this is by duplicating and adjusting the already existing animation. Duplicate it and assign a new name. Now, reverse the order of the button keyframes. You're all set. By following these steps, you'll also be able to create animations for unplugging and plugging in the cable. Stay tuned for our next video, where we will demonstrate how to create interactions to trigger these animations.